Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtutar channel. Okay, uh, recently something came across uh, us in uh, Collector's Cube. Uh, so uh, I thought I should run it through you guys, okay? So what I'm talking about, right, because uh, I spend most of my time over at Collector's Cube uh, helping them manage the place. Uh, we do a lot of Facebook Live as well. So do look us up there on Facebook, Collector's Cube, that's Q-U-B-E. Okay, and then you can help me to hit that like button as well because that will help me up in the YouTube algorithms. Now, what am I talking about, right? It's basically this. I'm going to move you guys a little bit for a bit. Okay, so these two, these two just recently uh, dropped by, okay? Um, and I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist the, to, to get myself one because uh, that's the thing. I... I haven't been following much on their Liberty Walk Aventada, um, but this time around, both of it came together. So I decided, okay, it's time I do something about it. And then at the same time, while I was digging my stash right then, I found out, okay, I have this as well. Now, the interesting part about this, right, is both of this, right, is actually number 80, okay? Mini GT number 80, Mini GT number 80. All right, this one. Uh, the box is basically the same, okay? It's in yellow color. However, the car doesn't look like yellow to me, all right? So, so far, uh, I've seen the black um, in person, right? I've seen the blister version of the black. Um, this one, I've not seen the blister version as well. I only have the box version right here. So, um, I couldn't resist and immediately I unboxed this, okay? Immediately I unboxed this. It came with a plastic wrapper like that. Immediately I unboxed it um, because when I checked out the back, right, look at that. It's uh, yellow. Okay, I didn't even notice the number. Alright, but it says yellow. Okay, this is MG number 57. Yellow. And then when we take a look at this, right, this would be number 58, red. Alright, and obviously it's a sticker on top of another sticker. So, uh, right now, at this moment, we all know that, you know, the uh, Mini GT do not... Um, employ any um, manufacturing plant in Bangladesh anymore uh, and we understand that there has been quite a lot of QC issues uh, from the Bangladesh uh, factory and that is one of the reasons why they, they stopped producing in Bangladesh so now uh, we, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit more uh, feel and, and a little bit more information about the Bangladesh Bangladesh uh, out, um, manufacturing plant things that come up from there so this is also from Bangladesh so I think, if I'm not mistaken, they only have one mole, which is the Liberty Walks Lamborghini Aventador, okay? And um, since then, right, uh, recently as well, we have seen all the funky, funky stuff coming out. So this is one of them, okay? So now, let me just show you guys, right, this is what is officially on the um, Mini GT website, okay? If you search for Aventador, okay? So the Liberty Walk version comes out as well. So in their list, right, officially there's only one version, the Infinite um, Edition, the Infinite uh, Motorsports Edition. Okay, this one is actually a, um, I think it's a garage uh, out of uh, Thailand. Okay, so only one. The rest of them are actually official Lamborghini uh, Aventador cars, which is the SVJ and SVJ Roadster. So officially that is it. However, right, if you do if you do a, a quick Google, right. Um, there will be a yellow version of this, the Liberty Walk, uh, yellow, red, okay, and then there's a blue. I remember seeing the grey as well. The grey, I believe, is number 79, okay, um, and then there is the black. The black, I think, is number 56, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, black, I've seen the black as well. I've seen the black before, I, I, and uh, I think that is also, I've seen that as a... Uh, Liberty Walk Shop exclusive. Now I need you guys to, <laughs> if you do know if that is true, please do let me know in the comment section below. Because right now, that was what I heard. The black is actually a Liberty Walk Shop exclusive. Um, so if you can confirm that information for me, that would be great. Okay. So today, uh, I want to take a quick look. You know, at uh, Mini GT's lineup of their Aventador. All right. So this two is already released. Uh, I have it over there. Okay. This one is not. The Viola, the Oro, El Elios, and the Verdimantes, those are not as well, still on pre-order, okay? So I'm going to shift you guys there now. I'm gonna, just going to give you, before I shift you guys there, um, because I'm not going to open this version, okay? I'm not going to open this version. So this one, you will see it's orangey red, okay? This is actually orangey red, and then you will see the other one being yellow, okay? This one, I haven't decided. 
um, because I still have it in the wrapper, I haven't decided. I, I'm thinking maybe I'll just keep it in the box until I find another unsealed version. Okay, but in that case, um, let's go over here. Okay, all right. So remember, had me to smack that like button, okay, and then uh, if you can hit the subscribe button as well, so that you don't miss on any of my other diecast videos. Okay, so this two, as far as I recall, were released around the same time. Um, the Lamborghini Aventada SVJ Roadster Bianco Cano Canopus. Okay, they have really funky names uh, for their for their colors. And uh, I believe it's just in different languages. I, it's, I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong, okay? So this is a right-hand drive. It has the Lamborghini emblem, the TSM emblem as well. Okay, this is actually number 224. Okay, so we have already got it out of the box as usual uh, because I've already done it over on Facebook Live. Okay, first thing is, this thing is really heavy. Okay, you can feel that it's quite solid. Let me just uh, focus zoom in and focus more on the car right uh yeah so first thing notice uh first thing the feel in my hand it's freaking heavy because of that metal base okay it's full um die cast then the the next thing is that isn't it isn't it just beautiful uh i am quite impressed that that mini gt is able to achieve this kind of level of details at that price as well so I won't complain that you know you see you can see the rubber is not exactly exactly circular right it's not it, it's not a perfect um circle but uh, I can live with that no oh, I adjusted it and it seems to look fine now so sometimes yeah I, I guess sometimes you just need to adjust it and yeah it'll be all right but anyway look at that man look at all the details you can see the door panel this is one of the simple things where a lot of people a lot of uh, manufacturers get it wrong you see the door panel okay the gap okay it's visible so you know the paint is not too thick or it's not too thin as well okay um and then there is the uh the the intake here okay where the where the air goes in to feed the engine at the back Okay, it's very nicely in black, so it, you know it. The illusion, there's a bit of an illusion where it does look like it's hollow. So that's actually very nice. Only on certain certain angles, you will see a little bit of the gloss. So I'm perfectly fine with that because it looks really realistic. So we go to the front. Look at that. The front diffuser. The front grill down here. Oh man, the headlamp details. The print that is pretty nuts. Okay, even here the aero aerodynamic details down here is beautiful. Okay, the indicator lights. This is actually actually printed on. Um, beautiful as well. Very sharp. Okay, side mirror is actually a uh, silicon. Okay, it's a separate piece, so it does look a little bit more realistic. Uh, you can see the Itali logo, Itali flag colors down there. Okay, and then here. There's the Aventada SVJ logo as well. Nice. Okay, the SVJ logo very nicely printed here. Okay, then we go to the back. Oh, the very beautiful GT wing. Look at that. Damn, look at so many things going on in the back, right? The tail lamps, a separate piece, two exhausts up there, diffuser, details down here. Lamborghini logo right in the middle, like that. Nice. Very very nice. Okay, so we go to the top view. Oh, beautiful. Look at all the details down here. Look at that. Damn. Okay, a little bit of a sneak peek of the engine there as well. Very nice. Okay, so that's the SVJ. Something that I will be collecting. Okay, uh, the SVJ Roadster. And then we go to the S uh, SVJ itself. This is a Rosso Mars version. Um, this one is actually number 198 okay so officially um, yeah it has the Lamborghini um, sticker right hand drive TSM logo as well okay I'm just gonna park the box on the side again a very very beautiful uh, piece of build in 64 so given its price point right I think this is really something um, worth to, to collect and I do quite like you know even though it's uh, rollable right Okay, it can roll very nicely, but it sits very nicely on the ground. Look at that. Look at how the Roadster sits, right? You know, it, it doesn't feel like it's too high. 
uh, which is the, the issue with most of the cars where um, you know they have to compromise if they want to make it to be able to roll them most of the time they have to they have to uh, lift up the whole um, the whole body okay then it looks like it's so far off the ground but uh, Mini GT really managed to pull it off so again this intake here this detail is actually very nice similar to the Roadster done very very nicely okay and then up front basically it's same okay it's a similar in front let me just zoom in to focus Okay, so yep, it's the same. Pretty much, I think most of the details are the same. Uh, even the wing is the same as well. The back details are the same as well. Um, the biggest difference would be this hood. No, sorry, not hood. This roof. <laughs> okay, the roof will be the biggest difference. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Okay, so that is the two uh, officially released um, Aventador from Mini GT. Now we have the unofficial version. So this does not exist and their website all right so we're gonna i, I want to i want to re-unbox this together with you uh to actually show you you know what because this one i i didn't even do it uh during live facebook live so there's no recording of me opening this up actually so i thought uh let's do it here so this will be number 80 it seems <laughs> but with a funny sticker down here i now that's the thing uh i can only see a little bit of the name at the back, the back sticker, right? Uh, which is LB Works uh, Aventada Left Hand Drive. Um, I can't really read what else is there. It does look like it says uh, it's yellow. Okay, it has the TSM logo and it has the Lamborghini um, logo as well, uh, the, the, the original merchandise logo as well. So, a little bit funny what is going on. Okay, so now the Bangladesh versions, right, does come with this piece of paper. I find it a little strange. Um, not with the uh, made in china versions right okay so here we go here we go uh, sorry about the cones flying around let me just put it aside let me check out the paper first 1.7 cm 8 cm 3.4 cm age of use 14 and above color yellow material plastic abs pvc zinc alloy item number there officially is number 57 um if you search for item number 57 on the website it doesn't exist um, so it's, it's not just about the car doesn't exist the number doesn't exist as well so packaging size purpose display model movement front movement there's a spelling typo as well uh, age of use 14 and above okay made in Bangladesh this is a display model not a uh, toys okay funny uh, model may contain small parts not suitable for children please do not touch the model if it's damaged or defective okay so this is in yellow but oh check out that yellow check that out check that out so this is basically based on the liberty walk um body kit uh, version number two for the aventador where the wing the gt wing actually comes up from the back comes up from the back okay so i'm gonna hang on i'm a little bit of a yeah on, on that I, I have to i have to keep it back in right because i don't want to mix up the blisters and the content of the of the packages so I have a tendency of you know when I remove it I need to make sure the the blister and stuff goes back to the to, to the exact same box okay so this is the yellow version that we have so it's quite different right obviously it's it is very different from the blister version that I've shown you just now so that one is actually in red uh, okay you know what I'm gonna I'm just gonna flash it out to you guys okay here there we go that's in red okay and this is white yeah <laughs> white this is yellow that's quite a huge difference. So the red one is um, with a sticker number 58, with which if you search for uh, number 58 in the website, right, it doesn't exist as well. So again, this one does look like it sits a little bit high, right? But uh, when I when I put it onto the ground, it does look okay. It does look quite okay. Um, so definitely, this is a different mold compared to the the original factory um, Aventador. Okay, but. Oh, still very nice actually even though it's manufactured in um, um, Bangladesh right um, we hear that there is QC issues but in this piece that I have here I don't see a QC issue I think maybe um, what I mean what what QC issue they have is you know how they mix up all the the cars with the item number with uh, uh, I, yeah I guess it's not really about the car I'm making a guess uh, it's not about the car or the mall probably it's the the way it's being uh, put together 
the car, the, the blister, the, the packaging, the sticker on the packaging. Okay, so funny. But uh it's nice to have this in in, in, in the collection still, uh to be able to tell this story. Uh it's somewhat kind of a piece of uh history I guess. When uh, you know a brand in Hong Kong uh that has um manufacturing plants uh goes through manufacturing plants in in, in China. I don't know if Mini GT actually own the manufacturing uh plants, but uh Interesting to see them trying out uh, Blanga, uh, something somewhere out of China in Bangladesh and then this is what happened. Oh look at that. Very nice. The 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 Liberty Walk um, tagline clear here there's a uh, logos down here, LB performance logo down there, have more logos here, all printed actually very nicely. Um very nice window to the engine as well. Nice, not bad, not bad at all, not bad at all actually. So this this is actually another nice addition to the collection. So I do have a blue here. So oops, sorry, I do have a blue here. I don't think I'll take it out. Uh, maybe in another video, um, when 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 there's a new um release of the Aventadas, um, maybe I'll do it then. <laughs> my hand has been knocking. Yeah, because it is actually quite a tight space. So my hand has been knocking off everything. The cones and it's so messed up. Alright, so uh let me know if you do want to see me unbox this, right? Because I don't want to make the video too long as well. So do let me know in the comment section if you want me to op open this up. Uh otherwise I'll just skip it. Um I can do it in the next uh Aventado video. I do look forward to see uh the black, the gold, the green, and also the Liberty Walk, the official Infinity uh Infinite works uh motorsports uh version as well of the liberty walk i mean all right so yeah i think that's it for this time around um thank you so much for watching uh just a quick mention right if you're looking for figures you can do look up uh collectors cube over on facebook um because they have more they have a lot of these uh figures um and accessories are uh, ready stock for sale they do ship international as well um so Look them up, help me hit the like button, help me hit the subscribe button as well, and hit the bell so that I don't miss on any of my other Taikas videos. So that's it for this time around. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.